calling it quits. Tonight, a rising star on the UConn football team says it is time to stop for health reasons. Quarterback Casey Cochran says it's all because of a series of concussions. NBC Connecticut's Josh Chapin live at Wrenchler Field in East Hartford with much more on today's unexpected decision. Josh. Keisha, that sophomore from Monroe, his family, the entire UConn football program felt tonight it was in the best interest of Casey Cochran to end his playing career and just focus on his well-being, deciding that that fourth concussion he suffered not too long ago was just too much. She put some, a little bit more life into the game. Student athletes like Laura Rattan love Casey Cochran's swagger. And even though his decision to walk away is a tough thing to hear. If it's the best thing for his health, then definitely a good move on his part because athletics is only so much. An athletics program that announced the decision today along with the medical staff and the Cochran family. That after Casey endured his fourth concussion against BYU in the opening game of the season, he had to step aside. It's like uh, taking a... Uh, egg yolk inside a bowl and shaking it around. Dr. Subramani Sitharama, medical director of rehabilitation at Hartford Hospital, hasn't studied Cochran's case, but says it sounds like the persistent symptoms Cochran had make his decision a smart one. Educating kids how to play the game, tackling properly, uh, and being, uh, being fair, and uh, not trying to injure other folks. Uh, will make a big difference. Signs are psychological, cognitive, and physical. And for parents concerned for their young athletes, the issue has recently been in the spotlight. Earlier this year, a $765 million concussion settlement was reached between the NFL and retired players. Take them out, okay, recognize it, pull them out, let them heal and then go back. Cochran led the Huskies to three wins in four games last year and holds numerous high school state passing records. Difficult to hear for the fans that are going to be going to the game. Head coach Bob Diaco says if there is a silver lining in all of this, it's Casey's interest in coaching. He says UConn, the whole team, will help Casey transition from player to mentor role and continuing to help him serve and be a part of this team. We're live at the Ren in East Hartford tonight. I'm Josh Chapin, NBC Connecticut News. Keisha, back to you. Josh, thank you.